Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Jackson 5 cocktail. This cocktail, I have no idea why it's called the Jackson 5. Just none. Uh, this cocktail is going to have some rum. We're going to have vodka. We're going to have amaretto. We're going to have some sweet sour. We're going to have some cranberry juice. We're going to stir it in a glass. We're going to strain it into a Collins glass. And that's going to be a good time. So we've got our Collins glass here. And that's what this recipe is all about. So let's do that up. Again, rolling solo. I might be solo all week. I don't know. Uh, Jennifer's out being mom today. So I had the day off. So I figured I'd record some videos. Oh, also we're using absolute vodka check it out it's tiny uh this was actually purchased for our vodka episode of al al uh, alcoholsbyvolume.com go to alcoholsbyvolume.com where we tasted um absolute tito's uh we got some gray goose um we some other stuff i can't whatever go out there you can check it out but i like this i had never really had it straight before i always thought it was over marketed over hyped but it's actually pretty good. It kind of tastes like potatoes a little bit. Um, so I wanted to use that since I've got it now. And so let's see. We're going to do one ounce of rum. We're going to do one ounce of amaretto, one ounce of vodka. That's pretty easy to measure. So if you could figure it out in milliliters, what's that, like 30 milliliters? Am I right? I don't have a feeling it's 30 milliliters. So, I don't know. so we got our amaretto. Di Sorono. We'll do... One ounce of the Don Q Crystal Silver Rum. Uh, we've got one ounce of Absolute. We're going to do that. We're going to build it with ice. Just throw a little ice in there. That should do. We'll use the cranberry juice last. We're going to do a dash of sweet sour. And I'm going to do probably a little more than a dash because this stuff's awesome. Made it myself. Proud. Not that it's extremely difficult, but bear with me. I'm very happy about very small things. Try and get that cold. Really, if you're not doing it in front of heat, heat and cameras and, and trying to do it in a short period of time, do it in like, you do a 30-second shake, a 30-second stir. Oh, ho, ho, that was awesome. Get back in there. You ain't getting away. It's kind of getting cold. There we go. Nice big ice cubes. All right. Of course. Oh, man. Ice is slippery. People continue to ask, and I will continue to answer, why do I put fresh ice inside of the glass when I've got ice right here. And there's actually two good reasons. There's probably many, but the two that I like to go with. First, there's a certain dilution that you want to get out of your out of your cocktail to get that a little bit of water in there. Water Watering down a cocktail is not bad unless it's overwatered. Um, secondly, it brings the temperature up. But if you're going to serve this to somebody, now if you're drinking it yourself, you, must, you could drink it right out of here. I don't care. But if you want to practice and you're going to be making these for other people, you want to get some good habits, one of them would be give them fresh ice. That way when you pour it in here like that, we're going to leave room, of course, for the – oh, I guess we don't need to – the cranberry juice when you pour it in here they're getting fresh ice it's going to continue to get cold it's going to dilute a little bit but if they drink it depends on how fast they drink it but it gives them a better presentation it makes it nice and fresh and keeps it cold and it's not going to dilute as fast as that diluted because it's already at a good temperature so it's going to be a slower dilution there you go that's the jackson five with cranberry juice you can see this if you if you could look you'd see that there's little like the little Bits of floaties from the sweet sour, the, the fleshy parts of the um, lemon and the lime. Oh, it smells like amaretto. Rich, thick, sweet amaretto. <sighs> nice. You may get a little more discoloration if you if you don't. I double strain my, my sweet sour mix to get out some of the that fleshiness. Almost reminds me of maraschino cherry juice, but not as not as um, sweet. Definitely, definitely outlines the amaretto. Real amaretto focus. Cranberry juice. Although I used 
a little bit, like two ounces maybe. I don't really taste a lot of it. I'm getting slight bitter, like nutty goodness. A um, little bit of burn. Definitely a little bit of burn. But that is as close to a, a less potent maraschino juice than I've ever had. Definitely kind of got that elegant thing going on. Nice, nice clarity. Nice, nice cocktail. Uh, maybe if you wanted to, you could probably garnish this with like um, some cranberries might be neat. Or I don't know if you'd really want to garnish it with like an almond or a nut or a whatnot. But maybe even a stick of licorice or a maraschino cherry. So there you go. That is the Jackson 5. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv. I'd read comments. I'll see if I can get some comments for the next episode. My, my iPod's in, in Jennifer's car, and she's in her car, not here. So that's difficult, but I might be able to steal hers. Um, so there you go. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Again, we're teaching you how to drink.